All right guys, Tacoma Dad here. We're gonna show you a little demonstration on the rear locker. Somebody asked me about, you know, how it looks like inside the cab, kind of what the benefits of it was. So we're gonna do a little demo, kind of a redneck one in our yard, but we'll show you kind of how it works. So you can see that didn't work out. So what we're gonna do is flip the compressor on. We're gonna flip the locker on. You can hear it putting the air into the lines, locking the rear. The good thing about this is on the TRD off-roads, you have to be in four low. As you notice, we're just in two-wheel drive. So this locker can be turned on at any time. Two-wheel drive, four high, four low, turned off at any time. You can be in four low, turn it off four high, turn it off, two wheel drive, turn it off and on. So that's one cool thing about having a rear air locker from ARB. But uh, let's try that same thing again and see uh, if we have any wheel spin. We shouldn't with the rear locker in the back. Okay, so there you have it. There's a little makeshift, but you notice that the back wheel didn't start spinning and we were uh, getting up on that little section right there. So it's nice to have a rear air locker. You can lock both of those back wheels at the same time in any uh, selection in the transfer case. So that's pretty nice. We're gonna let my uh, wonderful wife take this thing back down. She's scared to death, so she rolled up her window because she's scared. We'll pop the hood and show you where that compressor mounted under the truck. So it's just tucked up here, real nice and neat, factory brackets, I think that's what they used on it. I actually had a shop install this for me because one of the things you don't want to mess up is gears in your Tacoma because it's obviously very hard to fix and it can cause a lot of damage. So a shop installed this for me. But really clean, really easy, really nice. Like I said, flip of a switch, you can turn the compressor on, you can turn the locker on in any gear. So you can turn it in neutral, you can be in drive, you can turn it on. They just do ask that you stop before you turn it in. It's not meant to be shifted on the fly unless you're not giving it any gas or anything like that, but I just don't. I usually put it in neutral, shift it in. Or if I'm in park, just kind of sitting there for a second, I'll flip it on, but really easy to do really convenient for these trucks. If you don't have a TRD off-road and you need a locker, check out ARB. They're very nice. If you do have a TRD off-road and you would like a anytime locker, definitely check out the ARB air locker because it's really nice. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll see you later.